Hello, welcome back. And we are getting ready to watch 1102. Um, just finally got upstairs and we are hopefully going to see something with Kuma. I don't know, a preview said maybe. But uh, we left Kaku standing on Sentimaru like a jerk. So we'll see what happens with the Seraphim too. I'm Tasha. I'm Mike. And we are Billy and Barry. Happy to have you here with us. Let's go. Sinister scheme. He will flame. Kuma right away. Paw Paw on his way across the universe. Welcome to Paw Paw Airlines. We will be <laughs> arriving at our destination shortly. Please put on your seat belts and push back your tray tables. We are preparing for descent. <laughs> wow, look at the artwork on those. Yeah. You know, the reflection on those glasses is next That level. was beautiful. Yeah, you're not admirable at all. Didn't you turn against him first? Right, you're here to kill Vegapunk, who he was supposed to protect. It's always funny when you look at things from various perspectives. Except they've already got some super powerful stuff, so. Yep, so what if you started taking that intelligence and using it against them? They can't have that. You've served your purpose, sir. Yep. Off with you. Ah, what's their head? せかいちのずのでてきたいしてくるとおもわれたらどうじゃ。うん。消す。いや、はや、なりゆきというのは恐ろしいもんじゃ。そんな折り、四皇の一味である重いさんだがここへ来た。まさかうちの船に乗るの
<laughs> oh boy. What are you doing? I'm so confused. Is this like the port town that leads up to Mary Joy? Mary Joy? So yeah. it's like he's like returning home? Yeah, that's what I'm like. They yeah. just busted him out of there and he went right back? Yeah. This doesn't make any sense to me. Unless he's got to get over it to get to the other side. Apparently he doesn't give a crap. I'm in denial. No, he just kicked your ass. <laughs> この島の船は全て抑えられるかもな。我々を島に封じ込め、追い詰め、叩く。現在の目的はただ一つ、脱出のみ。ルフィはまだ来ねえのか。はい。この後はどうなるんだ。He's taking his time. Oh. One more ally, you say? もちろんです。命令を待っていました。あ、助けてくれるぞ。向こうも命令を待ってやった。うまそうだ。え、that <laughs> Oh, jeez. She's turning into a demon. <laughs> I'm on Bonnie's side. You don't attack with the bugs. But he didn't. He didn't attack. Uh-oh. What is this? Deactivated? Deactivated. どういうつもりだ。わかりません。フロンティアドームが迎撃態勢が解除。コントロールルームにいたれかいるか。確認。<笑> Don't you touch Sonny. How dare you? Mugiwara no Ichimi ga Vegapunk no mikata o Buster call and route. Kano na kagiri no gunkan o Eggheado e. Whoa, yeah, that... that's that's gotta be a buster call. That was a quick episode. Yeah, it was. It was all set up. Yeah, basically. So maybe next week will be really interesting. There's a mystery savior out there. Or ally, at the very least. We have no idea what the heck Kuma is doing, bonking his head into walls. And <laughs> there's a mole in their midst, Moly, making them vulnerable. Mole, mole. So, yes. Mole, mole, mole. <laughs> Mystery Savior. Yeah, the voice sounded really familiar. It sounded like either Boa or Vivi, but I don't know how Vivi would help. Haven't we seen Vivi in like some of the art, like promo art and stuff like that? I think we have. Maybe. Or actually, no, maybe in this intro. So maybe it is Vivi. Maybe that's why it's familiar. Maybe, but why would she be there? Well, I don't think she's there there. Oh. She's probably oh. just somewhere nearby. Maybe she's got a fleet of her own to help clear the way or something. 
That would be interesting. Like, what if, with Sabo's help, they faked Cobra's death so that they could leave and help gather an army of their own? Hmm. Oh, gosh, I have Theories. so many thoughts. <laughs> First, we gotta get through the chibis. Oh, I have so many thoughts. Yeah. My brain is gonna explode. Yeah, the idea that it could be Vivi is really, really intriguing to me. Like, oh, I miss you, Vivi. Come back, Vivi. <laughs> oh, and now, now we also, with the preview, we are finally gonna hopefully find out what's up with Kuma. Why the heck did he do that to Kuma? Yeah. It would be interesting if the cyborg Kuma isn't actually Kuma. Like, Kuma's maybe in that room, suspended animation or something. And the cyborg Kuma is actually just a really, really good facsimile of him. Hmm. I don't know. That may be going too far. <laughs> it would be kind of cool, though, if the real Kuma wasn't cyborg Kuma, if the real Kuma was hidden in his lab. Safe. There'd be some transcendence level stuff, but uh, yeah, maybe. Yeah. Well, I mean, if he could split his own brain off into his clones, what if he got mm. Kuma's entire memories, thoughts, feelings, emotions, everything into a cyborg of him instead? Yeah. So cause... that it really does seem like the real Kuma to everybody else. But maybe he couldn't get all the emotion. So he just said, oh, it's part of the cyborg process. He de he's not really emotional anymore. Yeah, maybe. Because, I mean, every yeah. time we've seen a flashback of him, he's like this gentle Yeah, guy. he's smiling and, and happy. And Akuma, we know, is very stoic and just almost robotic. Yeah, barely Even says anything Even though he wasn't a robot when we met him. He was part robot. Mm -hmm. But he wasn't full robot. But even then, he just, he very, he only spoke... He's just a kind few of... words here and there, very soft spoken as yeah, well. Like very... says everything quietly. Yeah. No, no real like emotion to anything. This this bit of him throwing himself into the freaking walls is more emotional than he, we've ever seen him. <laughs> and why? What what is he doing? Going back to basically Marjoy. Like... I hope it's not that he's so broken that he has to return to his. His master or whatever. Yeah, like, he's such a slave programmed to be a slave that now he can't ever leave. That because even if he does, he will do everything to go back. Yeah. Oh, I hope that's not the case because they fought to free him. Yep. I still love that Nami is now being like, what a pain this all is. After <laughs> very casually walking into a place that strips her down and puts her in new clothes that... She has been shown to not have super control over because... Now, they, when they she can... first got them, though, it was like, oh, yeah. fashionable, cool. Oh, yeah. So they just fully accepted that. Like, oh, la, 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 la. Hmm. They went up to this place. They went into this lab. They got attacked by Jinbei, and then they were okay with it. And only now that they want to escape is she like, hmm. Pulling a shikamaru. This, this feels it's all, all just too troublesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, kind of funny. I think only now Nami is realizing that there's a lot more to it. Like, they're not just exploring a new island. Like, oh, now there's responsibilities and taking on a, a burden. And Nami will forever always be looking out for number one. Because <laughs> nobody else ever did. So I think that's her thing. Like, why should I take on all this trouble? What does it get me? Nothing. Yeah. Okay, I don't want to. <laughs> so I just thought of something... Very exciting. What's that? Uh, CP0 just saw the Straw Hat ship location and said, let's destroy it. Uh-huh. Who's on that ship right now? Oh, it's Zoro and Brooke. <laughs> oh! Zoro's going to walk out and be like, huh? <laughs> you again? <laughs> Mr. Even Giraffe? Zoro could slap down Luchi, I think. It would be tough, but he could do it. And Kaku is there. He's the one who fought Kaku in Is he? Annie's lobby. Yeah. That was the first time we saw him use like Ashura, nine sword style and stuff. Okay. I wonder if Zoro will have any more scathing remarks about drafts. I don't know. I think he may just completely ignore Kaku now. 
Like, Kaku may just come at him and he'll just, like, block with his sword while talking to Luchi and not even breaking his eyesight. That would be fun. <laughs> oh, or, man. Or Brooke will take on Kaku and yeah. be like, no, no, no. You're, you're, you're not in the league anymore. Brooke would take Kaku for sure. And then Zoro would be taking Luchi. And it would be hilarious, though, if Kaku was, like, upset and wanted a rematch. And he was like, ah! And it was like... And Zora was like, go away, stupid giraffe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then, and then Kaku would be like, hey, giraffes are cool. <laughs> yeah. And then, like, Zoro says some nasty line to Luchi, like, you want a shot at my captain? You're not even good enough for me, bro. Yeah. Oh. I took out King. Mm-hmm. I made Kaido scared. Mm -hmm. I made Big Mom scared. You think you're anything anymore? Oh. Bro, you're so 800 episodes ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, you don't even know. Zoro is now super strong, and he's just chilling, waiting, protected. Yeah. I was thinking about that. I was like, oh, man, their ship is just so vulnerable. And then I'm, we're, we're looking at our TV just... <laughs> On the main screen here, and it shows Zoro, and I was like, "Oh, I wonder what Zoro." Oh shoot! <laughs> I know where Zoro is, and I can't I wait totally to see him again. I had totally forgotten they were just. I too was like, "Oh no, not Sunny! Stay away!" But I forgot it's being guarded. Sunny is just fine. <laughs> yeah, Sunny is gonna be a okay. I don't remember what Stussy can do. I don't know that we've seen her do anything. Have we actually seen her do? Okay, we, she's always just been like. She was, I thought, like a reporter for Morgan's. Wasn't that's what she? I thought too. At the wedding? Yeah. That's how so, I remembered her too. So when I saw her as CP0, I was like. That makes me wonder if being a journalist for Morgan's was just part of her cover. Yeah. You know, so that people don't know she's CP0. Like Khalifa being Iceberg's administrative assistant. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. You know, so that they think she's just this. Yeah, you know, world globe trotting journalist for Morgan's newspapers, but in reality, that gives her cover to be here, there, and everywhere for Cypherpool. <laughs> yeah, maybe. But we've never seen her do anything because she's always very calm and detached from things. Like she, she's very much just watching things happen always, never yeah. getting her own hands dirty. She never anything. feels threatened, and she never feels like a threat. No, yeah. She's she just, just kinda... watches. Yeah. That's all. She's a silent observer. Right? Mm hmm Which makes me think, like, if she's CP0 and that's her attitude, she's probably really strong. Oh, yeah. So, I, I don't know that we want to see what she can do, because it might be um, pretty painful. <laughs> yeah, especially if Sanji gets paired up with her. Oh, if Sanji goes against her, he's just going to die. <laughs> He'll just be like, end me. Yep. If he can die by the hand of a beautiful lady, he dies happy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's like, I will defend the sunny at all costs. Wait. A except Pretty that. face. Short skirt. Big chest. Guess I'll die. Yeah. I mean, that's what almost happened to him from Khalifa. Yeah. Had Nami not stepped in and said, get out of here. I'll take care of it. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, that's. I mean, he got tossed out of her room and down the thing. He ended yeah, up but ground. Nami then stepped up to bat. Yeah, know? if she had finished the job. <laughs> she knew he couldn't. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Sanji. Mm -hmm. I admire his chivalrous spirit, but at the same time, you're going to end up dead. You'll have all the power in the world to defend yourself, and you will opt not to and end up dead. Well, I think that's about it. Uh, we're kind of just rambling on about all kinds of random yeah, stuff. Yeah, with all the thoughts I have, I could probably go on for an hour or two, and I won't torture you like that. <laughs> or me, because I have to edit all of it. <laughs> <laughs> we did release our video for 500 subscribers. Thank you, all of you. We love you, and we're happy you're here. So hopefully you got a good laugh from Straw Hat Skits. That's what that video was, in case you missed it. Uh, go back and check it out. It's a lot of fun. It's just short little funny skits that we did uh, with the anime animation. 
basically. Yep. So, uh, and we've got more of that for future subscriber milestones. So keep subscribing yeah. and, if, <laughs> and you'll get another one. And I if know. you have any thoughts about the name of it or any cool ideas for naming it, yeah, we're not married to the name Straw Hat Skits. And no. it's like, we, we banged our head against the wall trying to think of something like, how do you, how do you describe using the anime for the visual and then other audio sources for the, the audio? Yeah. Like, how do you, what do you describe that as? How, how do we get that out there? So back when we first made it, there were a bunch of other videos like it with other anime and such, and they called them crack. So originally it was straw hat crack, but we never really liked that term. Yeah. So we've changed it to Straw Hat Skits because it reminds us of how Saturday Night Live would do skit or sketch comedy where each section is its own thing and then you move on to the next one. They're not. So that was the best thing that we could think of. But if you've got better ideas, let us know in the comments. Yep. And for this video, we just hope that you'll all be hitting the like button. Find us some more subscribers and that you'll keep coming back. Yep. And keep on, keep those comments coming. We like to engage. Yes. It's fun stuff. We've been enjoying the comments as usual. And we're so. a week and a half out from uh, the TCG EBO1. So mm -hmm. we got three cases of that to open. So that'll be coming soon too. Yep. Plus yep. we, uh, it, it's just off camera, but uh, we have <laughs> a, table. A, a lot of Beckett slabs right now that we got to yeah. in. Uh, update you guys on it's um hoping to film that soon it went interesting so yeah stay tuned for that but for now we will say bye guys see you later